Hey everybody, welcome to the Delivery Driver Pit Stop. My name is Michael, I'm your host. I hope everybody is having a great New Year's out there. Happy 2021. Uh, let's move uh, forward and hope this year was better than last year. Uh, again, I see light at the end of the tunnel. Make sure you wear your masks, keep everybody safe. I come to you today with a video that uh, uh, many have requested and I finally decided to get to it because uh, the changes that are coming in California are pretty disgusting. Um, th this is in re reference to Prop 22 that passed this last November 3rd here in the state of California. Um, the only good thing I've seen out of Prop 22 is it still allowed us to be independent contractors. That was the only good thing. It overturned uh, the state's uh, law that said we had to be classified as a uh, employees which would have destroyed the industry but hate to say it uh, prop 22 and these these uh, gig companies now are pretty much destroying the industry pretty much spiting their nose to, uh, spiting their nose to whatever their face I don't know it's a long day I had a long day but you know what I'm talking about so uh, the first to uh, uh, first company that kicked in prop 22 and the state of California is Grubhub my alma mater, when I started with and when I liked the most, but um, uh, this new these new policies that I'm going to uh, be talking to you about today are horrible. It, they're a joke, and it's going to do nothing but ruin the industry, in my humble opinion. I was always against Prop 22, always. I didn't like what the California legislation did. Prop 22, you know, had all these people, let's unionize, all this stuff. And I always said, don't, uh, the grass is always greener on the other side and be careful what you fish for because, uh, wish fish, be careful what you fish for. Be careful what you wish for because it will come back to bite you in the ass. And this is what it's doing now. We're seeing the fallout. The reason why I'm covering California, because I live in the state of California, and there's a lot of people that live in the state of California, does DoorDash, Uber Eats, uh, Grubhub, uh, Amazon Flex, uh, Instacart, you name it, they do it. Uh, and as I've always said, as New York and California goes, so does the rest of the nation. You may think, if you don't live in California, that you may es escape this this uh, you know this disaster, this incoming uh, this uh, un you know train wreck that's we're about to see here, but Rest assured, uh, your states will follow if this is not, you know, state by state, it will eventually be nationally, especially with the, uh, the, the, the party uh, that was just elected nationally, uh, uh, you know, the presidency. I'm not trying to get into politics, but the new president elect, he's a Democrat, and Democrats have a different uh, set of beliefs when it comes to work uh, than Republicans and Democrats as a whole. Are very union strong. They're very, you know, my uh, my. I was raised in a, as a, my father was a teamster, so I'm all, you know, my whole family were union members. So that's a big difference between, uh, you know. So with that being said, we may have this ushered in quicker, you know, at, at a federal level uh, for gig workers than state by state, which you know uh, would have been probably if the uh, existing president was stayed and the Republican president. Anyway, uh, as of y today, January 1st, 2021, Grubhub has kicked in their effect, their, their uh, uh, benefits, and I use that term lightly uh, uh, because it's a joke for benefits. And let me read to you what Grubhub has done now. And I, I might mind you, at, while I'm shooting this video on January 1st, 2021, Uber and DoorDash have yet to make the changes, but it will be coming very soon with those two. Mark my words about this. This was in the proposition, and Grubhub has already agreed to start doing what was in the proposition, and this is the first thing. Now, the first thing I'm going to read here is not what was required from these uh, gig companies, but this is what Grubhub has done to their drivers. Let me read a statement that Grubhub has done now. Or, and it's not so much a statement. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not COVID. As of today, 
Grubhub has, has reduced the default tip from 20%. I don't know if you ever ordered with DoorDash. I am all effed up today. I don't know if you've ordered with Grubhub, but when you order with Grubhub, the default tip amount always highlights at 20%. Um, that's what it used to be. As of today, it automatically defaults to, yes, you heard it, baby, the big Easter egg, 0%. So if you think is this is going to be beneficial to drivers that are already get are already having a rough time with the pandemic and people not tipping, I have another thing coming. And you have another thing coming. I got beachfront property in Arizona to sell you if you think this is going to help. So Grubhub as of today, January 1st, 2021, has reduced the default tip amount from 20% to 0% on the tip screen. They've also added uh, more wording to it. And let me, the, as a suggestion, they suggest, this is their suggestion verbatim. Suggestion to leave an optional tip on top of driver benefits. So they're saying suggestion, please, or basically please leave an optional tip on top of driver benefits. Benefits. So what they're basically saying is they're giving the customer the idea that, uh, you know, Prop 22 has is, is blessed us drivers with these superb new driver benefits that are out there. And let me just read to you our lovely and spectacular new driver benefits, okay? Okay, like I said, Prop 22 was passed. The only good thing out of Prop 22 was we're still classified as independent contractors. That way we don't have to be 10, 40, W-2 workers anymore. Or anymore, period. Now they have a healthcare stipend. Now a stipend, some people don't want a stipend. It's a healthcare stipend. A stipend is another word for a, an additional amount of pay they add to your check to help uh, offset the amount of money you pay for your insurance deductible, your health care insurance deductible. So they provide a health care stipend if you work a minimum of 15 hours a week. And here's the monkey wrench in it. You must be, in order to qualify for the stipend, there's three qualifications for the stipend. The first one, you have to work at least 15 hours a week minimum. Number two, which is the big whammy, you have to be the primary policy holder so a lot of people that are uh, husband and wife that are going out there or a husband and wife has children let's say a husband and wife has children and the husband is going out there and working grubhub while the wife stays home and the policy holder um, primary policy holder is under the wife you won't qualify for this extra stipend that uh, grubhub was so graciously a uh, uh, going to provide to you. So you must be the primary policy holder for the uh, stipend to kick in. In order to get the full stipend, okay, like I said, there's three qualifications, 15 hours minimum, you must be the primary uh, policy holder, and number three, you must work a minimum of 25 hours for what, uh, at least for Grubhub, this is pertaining to Grubhub, but it will soon be with Uber, uh, Uber Eats, uh, it will soon be with, uh, uh, you know, DoorDash. It will soon be with all the gig companies. So you must be primary. You must be 15 hours. And you must work at least 25 hours a week. And here is the no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Stop. Remember that game? Here's the big whammy. And uh, uh, worked hours only count as if you're engaged. It's called engaged time. And engaged time is... The amount of time that you are actually, you have an order in your possession. So if you're driving around without an order, and let's say you, you're, you've been on the clock uh, for the day, uh, eight hours for the day, but you've only had four orders, that's maybe taken two hours. You don't get eight hours worth of time on the clock. You get two hours worth of time, uh, engaged time that applies to this healthcare stipend. How stupid is that? So you have, it has to be engaged time which qualifies as time that you have an order in your grubby little hands 
Doesn't mount, doesn't count for if you're sitting there playing pocket pool or twiddling your thumb to playing tiddlywinks, waiting for an order to come in. That time does not count. Uh, another uh, lovely uh, piece of uh, uh, legislation that they uh, decided to do is right now, uh, mi minimum wage in California as of January 1st, 2021 is $14 an hour. And which I find a utter joke. I don't. First, I believe everybody deserves fair pay. But $14 an hour for somebody that just came out of high school that's at, working at McDonald's French frying or flipping burgers is a joke. $14 an hour should be a starting wage for someone that is in a professional field or a, a, an apprentice of some field. $14 an hour for someone that's wet behind the ears or someone at working at a, a job that's not high education. We have to do everybody, you know, all jobs are important, all the way from the trash man to the maid. But when you're fresh out of high school and you want to work for McDonald's or you're working for McDonald's for a little summer money, they're paying you $14 an hour right now in the state of California. You wonder why all these businesses like Tesla and several other businesses are bailing out of California faster than you're going to uh, uh, sing Dixie uh, because <clears throat> it's ridiculous here. So, but they're going to, they have, they have minimum, minimum earnings now for Grubhub, which is going to be 30 cents per mile driven. That's while you're on the clock. Well, not on the clock while you're actually, you have the order in your hand, 30 cents a mile driven plus 120% of minimum wage. So if you're working and you're not making a minimum of $14 an hour, supposedly on Grubhub, they will pay you 30 cents a mile plus 120% minimum wage, which right now, 120% uh, of $14 an hour is $16 and 80 cents per hour. So supposedly, the minimum you will make doing Grubhub is $16.80 an hour. Uh, but that doesn't answer, is this a guaranteed minimum if you sit and you park on the edge of the uh, uh, your region and just hope you, you don't get no calls like they used to do where they had that minimum guarantee and if you didn't, uh, if they had to subsidize your minimum guarantee for Grubhub too many times, they would remove you from the platform because they thought you were abusing the system, getting free money. So that that Pandora's box has yet to be addressed. We will see here probably within the next month what will happen with this 120% minimum wage guarantee uh, at, 30%, at 30 cents per mile and $14 an hour if you do not meet the minimum standard per hour. What do you guys think of that? I know that was a lot of information to inhale, to digest, but I wanted to get it out there. Uh, again, this only applies to California, but I suggest everybody pay attention across the whole United States because again, as California goes, so does the country. And with a new president coming in of, a dem uh, of if I learn how to little, if I learn how to speak here, of a different uh, Democratic of the you know Democratic Party, with Democrats being very union strong, will there now be a national push to unionize gig workers or at least kick in uh, Prop 22 type benefits for the entire nation? That is yet to be seen. As uh, Arsenio Hall used to do on on our, the Arsenio Hall sh show, things that make you go, hmm. Remember that? That's what this makes me think. What is going to happen? I think that's it, folks. I've rambled on now for almost 15 minutes. I hope uh, this finds you well. <coughs> if you're not in California, sorry about the coffin. It's just a dry throat here. If you're not in California, you've dodged a bullet temporarily. If you're in California, bend over and grab your ankles. You're not getting any lube because they're giving it to you prison style. That's the way it is. As um, soon as I uh, get my uh, COVID-19 vaccine, I will be out there in the field again, and I will be reporting and giving you the real numbers from, from what I've seen so far with this new tipping policy. Uh, 
tips are down almost 65 percent uh, i've read several messages where people were getting 65 70 dollars and uh for the day and now they're getting 18 to 20 dollars 18 to 23 dollars with your gas especially in california people don't know in california gas is almost four dollars a gallon okay and it's, and now this next year the irs and their wise ways are reducing the amount you can claim per mile on your tax deductions i think they reduced it i believe by two cents i'm not positive someone will correct me if i'm wrong as they always do but it has been reduced so not only that now you can't claim as much per mile as a reduction on your taxes for this 2021. all right folks i appreciate you tuning in if um videos like this uh, bring value to you one of these would be helpful also make sure you subscribe i think it's that side i hope it's that side subscribe hit the little subscribe button and then hit the bell and hit all that way you are notified as soon as i release videos such as this that hopefully are helpful to you please follow me on social media i'm on instagram twitter and facebook yeah i have to thank here um everybody stay safe out there six feet apart social distancing God bless you. We will see you next time on the Delivery Driver Pit Stop, everybody. Bye-bye.